In this video, we are going to simulate single phase inverter. This is the model question. Design a single phase inverter having the DC input supply of 100 volt and output resistance 1 ohm. Let's use MATLAB Simulink to simulate the inverter. So go to new Simulink model. Click blank model. Blank model opens. Maximize the blank models and let's drag and drop the components. So we need DC voltage source. So we get DC voltage source. Next we need ideal switch. Control R to rotate. Double click the ideal switch. Disable show measurement port. Apply OK. So we need four switches. So one, two, three, four. So let's connect the source with the switches. Series RLC branch. Double click series RLC branch. Select R, 1 ohm. Apply OK. Let's connect series, let's connect the resistor in between these two lugs. Next, we need pulse generator. Double click. Type pulse generator and we got pulse generator. So let's type this as T1. Let's type this as T2. Let's type this as T3. That means I is the 3. Let's type this as D4 thyristor 4. So we are going to give same pulse to T1 and T2 and another pulse to T3 and T4. Right? So we are going to give pulse to T1 and T2. Double click the pulse generator. Let the amplitude be 1. Period. Period is 0 0.02 seconds. Pulse width, let's choose 50 percentage. Phase delay 0. Apply. OK. So this is the pulse for T1 and T2. For T3 and T4, let's drag and drop this pulse generator. Let's connect this pulse to T3 and T4. Double click this pulse generator. Let the amplitude be 1. Period be 0 0.02. Pulse with this 50 percentage. Phase delay 0 0.01. Apply. OK. Right. Next, we are going to measure the voltage across the load, that is resistive load. So we need voltage measurement block. So voltage measurement block. And let's connect the voltage measurement block across the resistor. Okay, so this measures the voltage. We need one more voltage measurement block to measure the voltage of the supply. Next, we need a current measurement block to measure the current flowing through the load. 
current measurement that should be connected in series with the load so let's place the current measurement block here okay now let's type scope scope we are going to give input supply output voltage output current so we need three port go to settings choose the number of port to three layout three layouts apply okay close so first one is the input supply second one is the output voltage third one is the output current okay so we need power guy power gui okay so that is it so here the stop time let's choose 0 0.1 the the complete cycle is 0 0.02 so we will get 5 cycles or 0 0.1 let's run the simulation double click the scope and here we see 100 volt is the input supply and this is the alternating output voltage 100 up to 0 0.01 so this is what we will be seeing 0 to t by 2 and the next t by 2 to t is the negative half cycle so we are getting alternating output voltage since the resistor is 1 we also get the alternating output current. So that is it.